really picking up speed and growing. Um, and uh, and so so you know this is these are very linked movements, meaning that like these uh, these um, union participants like come to the social center and like it's uh, we're sort of, like trying mm -hmm. to integrate these uh, um, kind of uh, as as one movement. Um, and the other commission that's really active these days is in the is in the Amazon factories that uh, because Amazon moved from Germany to Poland uh, after there were workers uh, the opposition to um, strikes in, in to the working conditions. So it has its main outlets now along the eastern uh, western border of uh, of Poland, and there's a very very like well functioning commission in the in the um, Amazon factory near Poznań. And the second initiative that was uh, also really important to us in Warsaw was uh, um, the. I know there's going to be a section next the, about migration and uh, and squatting, but the um, it there's since since Warsaw is the biggest market, it's also where there are the most migrants, and the migrants and refugees who come to who come to Poland are mostly from the eastern countries, mostly Russian-speaking people. Um, and one of the things that's really important also is that Warsaw is the, the Frontex, I don't know if you all know about Frontex, but it has its headquarters in Warsaw. Mm -hmm. And um, so uh, this, we have, um, we, we were, we're just opening up a, a, a locutorio in our, in our squad. Um, it's supposed to be like a, a self-managed locutorio downstairs where you can come and like call home and uh, talk on the internet because there's no other locutorios in our city really. Um, this is a, this is one of the initiatives that comes out of uh, comes out of Serena, uh, and so um, it's uh, it, their detention camps. So it talks about detention camps because we have links with people in in detention camps. There was a big strike in the detention camps about um, two years ago. Now we're about to publish a book of, uh, of uh, somebody who of a woman who was uh, one of the organizers of the hunger strike in the detention camps. Um, Stop Frontex right now. The anti-Frontex days are going on as we're here, so our, our friends are, are are doing that at home. Um, we are we've been organizing the anti-Frontex days. This is one of our first initiatives uh, from the beginning. Um, work in Poland. That's another issue. Um, and Max Wolotoya is, 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 is a migrant who was murdered by the police. That's also the, at the same anniversary because right now Frontex is having it's celebrating its. Uh, 10th anniversary, and uh, it's the European Border Guards Day. Um, that's uh, on the 23rd, also the Days of Africa, and the murder, so like lots of uh, Polish people da dancing like West African dance, and at the same time, um, Maxo Itoya was murdered uh, all in the same day, which is really, really crazy, that was 2010. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <it's> like... <coughs> Because uh, if we have uh, only the 10 minutes, we can focus in, uh, and we can speak more in, in during the discussion. Yeah. So, uh, okay, so I will very briefly uh, to talk about uh, Rosbrat and uh, Odzysk, I mean, squatting in, po uh, in Poznań. Uh, so it's uh, Odzysk. Uh, Odzysk, uh, it is a... Uh, uh, it, is a it is a really, really... Uh, I don't know how to say it. <coughs> okay, it is a very, very specific situation because uh, this squad is inside the city center. I mean, in in, in the old square in Poznan, and uh, yes, next to the town hall. So uh, the situation, uh, a group of people just squatted uh, a few years ago, it was uh, around uh, two, year, two years ago, and uh, it was an effer uh, in reference to the social crisis because uh, we made a, a grassroots and self-organized researches about the housing situation in Poznań. And uh, because we don't have any statistic about the abandon, abandoned how, uh, houses in, po in Poznan, and uh, we recognize that we have a uh, uh, fifty hundred thousand abandoned houses, and uh, a lot of people are squatted. I mean, they de they don't define themselves like a squatters or like um, anarchists or something like that, but but they they do it uh, each day. Uh, it's uh, you know like, like a normal respo response uh, um, because we have a, a social uh, housing crisis and uh, okay and 
should, um, I would like to say something more about the Rosbrat, but only generally. Uh, yeah. okay. <laughs> and Rosbrat, it is another squad and um, in Poznan. Uh, it looks like uh, inside, uh, it's, it's near to the center, but it looks like in a garden inside the city center. And uh, in this year we will have a 21th birthday. And it was uh, on the beginning, it was the old factory, and a uh, few people just squatted and start to live there and start to make a concerts and uh, so. <laughs> no, <please. laughs> it's not the first time. <laughs> Red Watch Oscar. <laughs> Whoa, it's Red Watch. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now uh, <laughs> now we are more focused about the uh, uh, how to uh, about the so uh, housing struggles and uh, like Marta said, we have our anarcho syndicalist to workers union Iniciativa Pracownicza, Iniciativa Pracownicza. Uh, and our main goal is uh, to um, try to create the response to uh, local crisis and uh, try to cooperate with uh, other people. With uh, uh, also we are cooperating with uh, Roma migrants from Romania. They are they they don't have uh, uh, they don't have any rights in Poland. I mean they are uh, invisible for the local gov government. Uh, they, they live in Poland uh, since 20 years, but uh, they are on the lowest class position, and um, they are, you know, they just squat uh, a lot of uh, spaces in Poznań. But uh, they are still, you know, like uh, they don't have access to the basic right, uh, to the basic rights. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, uh, to the healthcare, to the uh, to the housing, to any rights. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and this is our is uh, yeah, and this is uh, some kind of pictures from our city. So maybe I'm sorry for my English, but uh, if you would like to talk more, uh, we can do it during the discussion. Thank you. Thank you very much for this joint presentation. Um, we have last one last intervention if Lacour is here. Yes? Um, okay, so in what language are you doing the... Yeah? Alright. That's perfect. Thank you. Se necesita la traducción al inglés. ¿Alguien? Hi everyone, I'm Eliseo from the call. We are a cooperative of architects who began as a collective. And I really cannot um, give more information about all this, but, but we've been talking about um, managing, about commons, about what is public, and usually it means to, to be in, in, in public infrastructure, buildings, and administrations uh, has, has done a big uh, legal machine about all the buildings and the streets and urban plans and all that. So, we many times um, uh, need to face like a technician role as if we weren't any person or we weren't any people capable to join or to feel uh, linked to these experiences. Um, but we feel like the administration is always looking for someone to lay on and share the responsibilities. So it's quite a difficult role to play because legally we, we have um, legal attributions that unfortunately um, put us in, in, a, in another position many times. Um, as we were watching before, in, in, in Poland, an architect said that it wasn't, there was a building that no one could live inside. Um, the good thing of this is that it's always a 